Hello everyone, my name is James. Welcome to King's Fine Woodworking. We are going to show you something really cool today. One of the things that my family does is we collect wood, different wood species from all around the world. And in addition to all of the amazing grain patterns and colors that these woods come in, uh, they also come in a great variety of densities and hardnesses. They, uh, some are very, very dense and some are very hard and, and some are not dense and some are not hard at all. And we're just going to try to show you a couple of the comparisons and then we're going to compare the big two. We're going to compare the densest wood in the world, lignum vitae, with the least dense wood in the world, which is balsa wood. First, I'd like to spend a minute or two just showing you all these different species up close. These come from all the different continents of the world. Uh, this is a piece of wood called bacote. Bacote is a very hard, very dense wood, and it comes from Central America, from the tropical jungles of Central America. Next, we have lignum vitae. This comes from the Caribbean islands in the Americas, and this is the densest wood in the whole world. After this, we have my favorite wood of all time, which is cocobolo. Cocobolo comes from Central America. It's a very dense wood, but it's not as dense as some of the most dense species, but it polishes up so beautifully. Just to note, there are no stains or colors on any of these pieces of wood. They're just represented naturally with a clear coat of lacquer. And this is African paduke. This is from tropical West Africa deep, bright, beautiful red-orange color. Next, we have an extremely hard species of wood. This one is called Suriname Ironwood, and it is in fact from Suriname, which is in South America. Moving on from here, we are going to see balsa. Balsa wood is a wood that is found all throughout the tropical Americas, and it, of course, is the least dense wood in the world. It is famous for being the wood that we use to build model airplanes with. This is a piece of Philippine mahogany that comes from the Philippines and Southeast Asia. For centuries, mahogany has been a very highly prized species for woodworkers. And this is a piece of American black walnut. This is a very popular wood in the United States for woodworking, and it is found in the eastern United States primarily. And next we have a piece of maple. This is a piece of hard maple, also called rock maple, and this is from Canada. However, this and many other types of maple species are also found all throughout the U.S. This is a piece of quebracho. Quebracho means axe breaker in Spanish, and this is arguably the hardest wood in the world. There is a wood that has been found to be harder, although not all trees fit it, and that wood is Australian baloque. This beautiful wood is a piece of Osage Orange, and although it looks like an exotic, it's actually found in Oklahoma and Texas and a few other places in the United States. And this brilliant piece of wood is called Red Heart. This is from Paraguay in South America. Then we have a piece of oak, a very common wood used in the United States, and this species also grows in Europe. And if you like wood like we do, and you want to get a set of these blocks for your collection, there's a link in the description for you to get a set. And here's a very vibrant piece of wood. This one is called Yellow Heart. This is found in Brazil, which is in South America. And from the other side of the world, we have a piece of bubinga. This is a beautiful wood, very hard and dense wood, and it is found in equatorial Africa. Finally, we're going to round out our list with a very vibrant and bright purple piece of purple heart. Purple heart wood is found in tropical Central America. 
Now let's move into some video and compare some different weights on these blocks. Okay, today we're going to talk about some uh, pretty unique properties of these different wood species that we've collected from all over the world. Uh, we've got about 16 different species represented, and we're going to talk primarily today about density. Density is a property of matter that really measures how tightly packed that matter is within a given substance. So the more matter you can pack into a specific volume, the denser it is. So my daughter Sai is going to help us demonstrate this property. Uh, what we've done is we've cut all of these blocks to the same size. They're about one and three quarter inches uh, on each edge and they're all cubes. So they're all uh, exactly the same size. And what we're going to do is we're just going to compare the relative weights. So what do you think Sai? My name is Sai, and I'm going to help my dad demonstrate some of the properties of density today. So density is defined as mass per unit volume, but it's going to be easy to demonstrate this today because all of the volumes are the same. All of these are one and three quarter inch cubes. We're going to start with a couple of domestic species, maple and walnut. As you can see, their weights are pretty similar. So I'm going to switch this maple out for mahogany. Um, mahogany is an exotic wood from the Philippines. Mahogany isn't actually a very dense exotic, but it's still denser than walnut. So let's compare oak to mahogany. As you can see, oak is quite a bit heavier and therefore denser than mahogany. As dense as oak is, do you think it might sink in water? Let's find out. Well, it floats, but we figured it would. Now let's see what you came here to see, lignum vitae, the densest wood in the world. As you can see, it's much denser than mahogany, but just for fun, let's compare it to balsa. Well, it's denser than balsa, but is it twice as dense? No. Three times? Four? Five? Six? Seven? Eight? Nine? Ten times? Wow. Let's see if lignum will sink in water. Okay, so we've got a close-up shot on the oak that's floating there. Sai, why don't you drop in a piece of maple beside the oak and we'll we'll see if that floats any higher or lower than the oak. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. The maple is not sinking down quite as deep in the water so that must mean it's just a little bit less dense than the oak. That's pretty cool. What about a piece of paduk, that paduk cube? What will that do? Let's put that in. All right, let go of that. Oh, we can see that is sinking significantly deeper in the water. That's very cool. So looks like the density is increasing on these pieces as we're putting them in and testing them out here. Okay, what do you think? Let's try, what do you want to try next? Let's try uh, Coco Bolo. That's an exotic. That's pretty dense. Let's give that a shot. They're getting away from us. Whoa, it's trying to sink. No, it's going to float. Wow, so that's going to float right at the surface of the water. So that's very cool. That means uh, the density of this species of wood is pretty much the same as water. It's floating right at the surface of the water. That's very neat. Okay, now we better do something dense. That's what everybody was uh, waiting for here. Okay, so let's grab that lignum and drop that in and see what it does. So this is lignum vitae, the densest wood in the world. 
Whoa, right to the bottom, no hesitation. Hey, just for comparison, well, let's put a piece of balsa wood in there now and see what it does. Oh, the balsa wood barely sinks under the surface of the water. Very cool, big difference. What about Bocote? That's gotta be a pretty dense wood. Let's see what that does. Oh, it's dense also, it went right to the bottom. It didn't go down as fast as the uh, lignum though, did it? How about that iron wood? That's really heavy. That's, that's just about as dense as the uh, lignum. Let's try that. Yep, right to the bottom. Very cool. Hey Sai, I have an idea. Why don't we use double-sided tape and stick the balsa to the lignum. And let's see if uh, the lignum is dense enough to pull the balsa wood all the way to the bottom. Or let's see if the balsa wood has enough flotation in it, if it has a low enough density to keep the, the lignum from sinking. What do you think? Let's try that. Go for it. Whoa, sweet. Well, that's pretty cool. Hey, Sai, let's try one more thing. Let's try the lignum and oak. Oak was already pretty dense. I want to know if the lignum can pull that to the bottom. What's your guess? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, think, I think it can do it. Let's try. Ooh. Oh, man. So close. But not quite. Okay, woods of the world, all 16 species. Throw them in the water, let's see what happens. Pretty cool. Some sink, some float. And the balsa just <laughs> sticks to the side of the tank. <laughs> well, there you have it. We got uh, 16 different species of wood from all around the world. And if you are a wood collector like we are, then you probably love different species of wood too. And sometimes they're really hard to get. Some of these exotic species of wood can cost uh, upwards of 100 or $150 a board foot. So sometimes you can only collect them in small blocks. Um, and that's what we do for a lot of our collections. We just keep uh, small blocks of them around. And if it's something that you might be interested in, we have actually uh, made, we're in the process of making about 50 sets of these. And there's a, a link to buy a set if you're interested. It's in the description below. And thanks for watching.